they would just always feel like they're like second class that they don't um, belong with the majority. Flagrant discrimination against disabled kids, the subject of a lawsuit just filed against Sac City Schools. Now, it claims black disabled kids are especially targeted. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Curtis May. And I'm Adrienne Moore, CBS 13's Anna Giles, with what parents are saying and how the district is responding. An attorney who filed this lawsuit says this is a problem Sacramento schools have been ignoring for a while. She says when they were confronted about it two years ago, they promised change, but change never came. The lawsuit claims district programs segregate, even deny students with disabilities a meaningful opportunity to go to class with their peers who are not disabled. They're being put into separate classrooms or, or pushed into separate schools altogether. The lawsuit claims students languish in a hostile, stigmatizing, and demoralizing school environment. Attorney Mona Tawatau with the Equal Justice Society says students with disabilities are being bullied, called names, and racial slurs. It um, has, has been so destructive to some students that those students have um, felt like they wanted to harm themselves as a result of the bullying. Tawatau says excessive punishment is also a big problem. She says according to a 2017 report by the Council of Great City Schools, Sacramento schools was disciplining students with disabilities twice as much as their peers without disabilities. There's every indication that that problem has gotten a lot worse, perhaps as much as being disciplined and black students being disciplined at 10 times the rate of other students with disabilities. A spokesperson for the district says he cannot comment on pending litigation, but the district does not tolerate any form of discrimination. Parents who have kids at Sacramento schools say if these allegations are true, the district must do more to protect students with disabilities. They would just always feel like they're like second class, that they don't um, belong with the majority. I think it's just on the teacher, just, um, just having more patience. If, if you have a special needs kid, it's, I think it's all about patience. When it comes to solutions, civil rights groups say the district needs to provide more training for teachers on how to be inclusive and how to respond when a student with disabilities is being bullied. Okay, Anna, thank you. CBS 13 investigator Julie Watts is digging into the school district data for us tonight, Julie. And you know, it does appear that discipline and racial distribution, they are uneven in the Sac City School District based on data. Let's start off with discipline. A 2017 audit requested by the district itself found special education students of all races were suspended at a much higher rate than non-special ed students. And African American students overall were suspended more often than students of any other race. Now, now, separate data compiled by ProPublica found black students in the Sac City District were suspended more than three times as often as white kids, a slightly higher rate than the state average. And Sac City ranked high on the segregation index compared to surrounding districts, meaning there was a very uneven distribution of black kids and white kids across the schools. Folsom Cordova was the only other local district ranked high for segregation. Now, the 2017 audit also found inadequate staffing levels for special ed programs. The district declined to comment on this data, but a spokesperson did note that they created a task force to help address some of these issues. So the district requested this audit. Mm -hmm. These parents say they raised this issue a couple of years ago, but nothing has happened, but they at least audited it. Yeah, the district, the superintendent at the time requested the audit and they saw these results because they knew there was something going on. Mm -hmm. Now this nonprofit says, listen, we talked to you back then and they're saying not enough has been done since. Well, it'll now come out in the courts. All right, thank you. Really, thanks.